hit y'all with a little bit of Tevin Campbell. Can we talk? I know I got a little bit of singing voice. I got a little bit of singing voice, but, you know, a walking vlog, discussion one-on-one. We got to talk about something. Operation Stop Simping. Part three, I believe this is. Officially part three. You know, I've been talking about Operation Stop Simping for a minute, but I figure we need to continue. This song is supposed to be like a one-part series, but, you know, whatever. I feel like there's so much to talk about and so much to talk about that you got to talk about it. The one thing we got to talk about, body shaming. Oh, my God. Hope y'all buckled up for this shit because, whew, in the words of Dave Chappelle, I'm what you would call a victim blamer. <laughs> Because body shaming, to me, can't be a thing. And they've come up with so many terminologies and so many words to describe certain shit that just isn't, that isn't for real. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not as bad as they making it out to see, making it out to be. This world has adopted this soccer mom mentality where... If you, you deserve a reward just for participation, you, you know, shouldn't say anything bad about somebody because it's judging, regardless if they deserve it or not. It's just like, it's, it's this sensitive ass, it's this extra sensitive ass time we're living in, this era, where it's so pathetic that a person can be at their own faults and then if you say anything about them when it's their fault then you're pretty much in the wrong let me explain body shaming which is the topic of discussion what the fuck is body shaming based on what i'm seeing is somebody who makes fun of the way someone else's body is shaped looked or whatever the case may be. Here's my thing. I understand that, you know, some people have a weight issue. It's it's understandable. You know what I'm saying? But you cannot tell me. And I mean, you cannot tell me or convince me at all. Because my eyes sees everything. My eyes see everything. Even the shit that people don't want to see. When... And this is mostly targeted towards women because the topic of body shaming is always targeted towards women and making women feel better about themselves. Because men, we don't really give a fuck that we fat. We don't. <laughs> it's like, we know we need to lose weight. It is what it is. But you got some women who are so sensitive about their, their bodies that it's like they don't want to do anything to improve it. And I mean, they don't want to do nothing to improve it. But it's just some of them that can't. I understand. Some of them could be morbidly obese or, you know what I mean? It could be genetics or things like that. Or they tried to lose weight. And um, it didn't work out for them. And, and, and those cases are acceptable. I'm talking about the ones that are able to do and refuse not to because they're just lazy as fuck. You know, so we got to get to that. And how the, the, uh, the fashion world has socially accepted this this BS as a standard and then how they're being biased towards everybody who isn't acceptance of this shit. Now let me get a, let me get on with it. You know for a fact that when they make certain outfits and they make certain clothing items, they make it with a certain body type in mind to fit those particular people, right? That, that demographic or that body type. They put this on, on the models. They put this on, you know, the people who they know you're gonna be envious of and wanna be like, or to give you this illusion or this idea that if I put this on, I can look as attractive as this person that's wearing it in the, uh, in the magazine or in the, in the video. Or basically the one that's actually modeling the clothes. Let me take this off. I need to take that off. I don't even know why. They, I, I, it, it becomes such a habit for me to wear this now. 
that I'm wearing it outside when I could just literally just be walking out regular. And the only reason why I'm walking because I'm trying to force myself to exercise. Went to the gym two times in a row two days ago. Uh, what? Was it Saturday and Sunday? Or was it Friday or Saturday? One of those days. Well, two of those uh, three days. And my abs are still kind of sore. But this is me forcing myself to exercise even on days when I'm not at the gym. So I kind of force myself to walk to work at times. Kind of ingenious when you think about it. But nevertheless, they make certain outfits with a certain body type in mind. For example, when you go to the store, right? To like the, the mall or to any type of clothing store. When they put clothes on models, are those models big? No. Those models are never big because... The intention, there's nobody in the world who wants to be big. I get it, you know. And because of genetics and all that that I mentioned earlier, you shouldn't make fun of nobody because of that. I get it. But here's the thing, especially black people, I'm talking to y'all. We are losing our superpower by adopting this soccer mom mentality. That was always their shit. That was never our thing to complain about body types and all that we applauded the thick girls and you got to understand that what what they come from even being a hundred pounds is considered too big and i mean that when you look at body types and the desired body types of women throughout history when it came to white people or what would you know or what we would consider a white man today. They desired very thin, ironing board, skeleton type of women. That is a fact. When you go back to like the medieval times, it was always the women who were like thin as hell. They didn't have no amount of body size to them. It was like the thinner you were, the more attractive you were. That was never the case for our women because our women were never born like that. They were born thick. They were born curvy. You know, that was their natural body shape. You know, because of the foods that we ate and the way we exercised ourselves on the regular when it came to hunting and, you know what I'm saying, taking care of the households and things like that. Our body types are different. You know, for the women out there, your body types are different. So, me coming from the 90s, like I said, I'm 32 years old. I was born in 88. I grew up during the 90s. Back what they were called, what, what they were considering fat back then, was so like it's so contrary to what's going on now. See, a lot of y'all don't understand that because y'all growing up in in a time where it was already socially accepted, or it became socially accepted to be like that. So some of y'all don't even realize that this was a time or a period that actually happened. Just like with video games and people claiming that they like anime and all that shit these days, they were already born into a time where it was already socially accepted. And all the hard work was already done for y'all to be accepted of being somebody that watches anime or play video games. Y'all didn't go through that hardship of having to literally fight just because you were watching or participating in those things. So, just touched on that. But, um, <clears throat> but when you look at certain body types and things like that, I know for a fact, it's plenty of women. I would give you at least like 99%. It's like 99% of any woman, right? Who, I don't know if they're getting ready to go out somewhere or Or if they just getting dressed up for something. Or just putting on clothes to try on. That was a bus. It don't matter if it's a woman getting ready to go somewhere. Or just getting ready to put on clothes to try on. Or whatever the case may be. They always are looking in the mirror. To see how that outfit makes them look. Always. So... You know, they know what they look like before they walk out the door. So you already know the type of bullshit you're going to have to deal with. And some of y'all 
has become so, I won't even say dare to be different. Some of y'all become so arrogant and what y'all putting on, y'all know y'all gonna have to deal with the bullshit. It's like y'all just convince yourselves that this world has catered to kissing y'all ass for so damn long that even if y'all come out the house looking ridiculous knowing damn well because of your body type, you shouldn't be wearing that shit. There's gonna be a group of people coming to your defense because you just gonna claim old oh, body shaming. Oh. Oh. This lady was gonna go and I had to, uh, thought I was gonna let her go before I did. But yeah, y'all know y'all not supposed to be wearing half of the shit that y'all be having on. Case in point. Like, you be seeing a lot of females these days wearing leggings, right? I'm talking about the leggings, the skin tight clothes, because they want to feel as form-fittingly naked as possible, if, if I can say that, if that's even a, a thing. But they want to get this fit. They say that it's just because it's comfortable. No, because it's the closest thing for you to have a clothes on and also being naked. And some of y'all know y'all ain't got no business wearing that shit. Let's keep it a thousand. I'm talking about y'all put on these fucking, these leggings on the on the average body that it's intended to be made for. Um, you know, the, uh, on the body type that it's intended to be made for. You know, the clothes fit properly. You know what I'm saying? It looks nice. It looks the way it's intended. These um, big girls that be wearing these leggings, right? They put them on. I'm talking about the material gets stretched so damn thin. The outfit is, is damn near see-through. To the point where it's like ridiculous. Like, really? I'm talking about, bro, you can clearly see the underwear they have on. You know what I mean? It was one girl. I remember this on the bus. This happened a couple years ago, right? A girl was on the bus, right? And she just so happened to have some type of underwear on that um that had like some wording on the back of it, right? But she had the leggings over the underwear, obviously. So when she um when she had put them on. The legs were so damn, it was like, it, it was stretched so thin on her, you could clearly see the words on her underwear right there. And it was like, you really walked out the door with that shit? Like, where is the, the common sense in that? You know what I'm saying? And what are you saying, what type of image are you giving the next generation of young ladies to go on? Now, I understand Obviously, it's certain clothes that, you know, women can wear that little girls shouldn't wear. And these days, they got little girls wearing them anyway, which is it's actually sickening. But still, what type of imagery are you getting them? Because when they see that, they looking at it like, okay, when I get older, I'm supposed to dress like that. That is hoish as hell. Y'all know... That y'all are not, shouldn't be coming out the door. It's like y'all do shit to get talked about and then get mad that y'all get talked about. <laughs> like, because regardless of what the world thinks, you should at least have some self-respect to know, okay, maybe I shouldn't walk out the door like this. Just maybe, you know. But then it goes back to what I said a couple days ago in a video I uploaded on part two. Women want what they want when they want it. And the world does not work like that. You know what I mean? And you have a group of women out there who don't want to actually get a career in something meaningful. They don't want to get a career in anything worth being proud of. So instead, they just get lazy and go make an OnlyFans and just flash their pussy in a picture. And you got the simps that, that be out there just paying for it. And just because... Let me say this again. Just because... You have 10 to 12 bum niggas in your fucking DMs on Instagram or Snapchat or wherever the fuck. 
does not make you a dime. That doesn't make you a 10 at all. You got to stop lying to yourself because you was never getting hit up before that. You look at your pictures prior to this little phenomenon happening. It was you was acting all kind of posh and innocent and shit. Now, all of a sudden, you this this vixen, you know what I'm saying? It's just like shit not adding up. But then you walk out the door looking like you're getting ready to run the blade. For those of you who don't understand what that means, it's an old pimp term for the for like what they used to call the whole stroll. The whole stroll used to be the street where all the prostitutes were. They call it the blade or the whole And you got some women who literally dress like that and think they, you know, they should be respected for their mind. Anybody with a mind to be respected should be coming out the door like that any You know what I mean? It's just, I don't know, bro. It's like, y'all know y'all coming out the door looking ridiculous and then get mad when people look at you like the ridiculous person you're dressing as. That is like the biggest oxymoron out there. And then you got some of the elders that's getting influenced by the little kids that's dressing like that, or the younger, well, women younger than them that's getting dressed like that. They look ridiculous. Like, for example, you know how, they, and I said this in part two as well, you know how they got females that dress, who want to dress like a certain way, but they don't have the clothes to dress like that, so instead they go find something that they got that's similar to what they really want to dress, like, or dress in? For example, you know the leggings that I was just talking about? You know they got some females that don't have leggings at all. So instead, they go buy they go buy like them tight ass fucking sweatpants. They get sweatpants as tight as they got them, or the tightest sweatpants that they got in their closet, and they come out the door in them, like them type shits. Like it's just fucking ridiculous. Like it's it's oxymoronic and it's very um I can't even think of a word right now. But it's just. It's like you're doing shit and then you're getting mad at the response that you're you're getting mad that you're getting the response that you're supposed to get. How'd that work? All I'm going to say is, man, just quit the bullshit. So with that being said, man, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll be uploading this later on tonight or whenever you guys see it. With that being said, man, be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat, but show no mercy in battle. World Warriors Collective. No such thing as body shaming. Cut the bullshit.